Gray Shark Week. Gray Concrete Shark Week. <laughs> no, it's Random Concrete Shark Week. Sponsored by... Sponsored by... The, the Gray, gray shark. shark. Ding! <laughs> okay, so uh, we've been having a great time just doing some random concrete right. things. We're going to be making some glow-in-the-dark and concrete here in a little bit. We screwed up, or Patchouli screwed up the last mix. <laughs> nice comp. <laughs> um, but today we're asking a fun question, a little random, hence the reason the gray shark. <laughs> Ding! This one is from Johan Krill. Johan has asked a few questions. Oh, did you, Johan, did you ask that question that was like three pages long? I feel like that was you, Johan. <laughs> great question. That was a great question. Yeah. So specific. And David and I had a great time with it. That yeah, and so. David, I don't know if you saw this, Johan. David summarized his two or three pages into five yeah. words. Five words? Yeah. Four words. Five words? Four yeah, words. five words. I thought it was five. But yeah, it was impressive. So, shorter question, just as awesome. Hi, I saw some concrete D-Day landing barges still floating on the beach way in Normandy. Is anyone incorporating new hydrogel technologies in shipbuilding? Johan, wow. Great question. Because if, if, if for those of you who are watching or listening, if you haven't read into Johan's question, he's not talking about steel shipbuilding. Mm -hmm. He's talking about concrete shipbuilding or ferro cement. Now, this is how I got into concrete research and development. I started um, playing with ferro cement when I started competing in the uh, National Concrete Canoe Competition mm -hmm. when I was a cadet at the United States Air Force Academy. And I remember the first concrete canoe that we built, we called it the P.O.S., which stood for Pride of Service. Oh! Where's your head at? It was a piece of, though. Um, Ship. Ship. But the concept of it, the, the competition that I really got into for years to come, forced you to understand concrete design oh, uh, sure. and, and really be disruptive with new and emerging technologies. Well, and so, get creative. And get creative kitchen with it. Kitchen sink, like the concrete canoe is the perfect forum for the kitchen sink. Of it, totally, totally so. forum. Well, Can, and you ended up doing some of those classes when you were a what, PhD candidate. Right. And we had a blast working oh, with those totally. kids on just... Crazy. They gave us some free t-shirts too, so that some was pretty Some great awesome. t-shirts. Great t-shirts. Yeah. Um, we have, so, you know, the, the, the history of that, like Johan is saying, is that it goes back to, you know, World War I, World War II, where we were, we had either a steel shortage or we just couldn't get steel all around the world. So we started using concrete as our building material. And the great thing about it is if for some reason these, these ships were destroyed, they could be dredged back up repaired and sent back up as opposed to when you have failures with say the Liberty ships where they cracked in half you couldn't really repair those sure. as well or as easily and send them up and especially if a ship got blown up or, or a section of it de demolished and it sunk you can't really dredge that up with concrete sure. ships you could so could this be used I, I, I think yeah I, I don't see why it would be a problem one of the things that we know with colloidal silica technologies and the hydrogels that you get from them, or colloidal silica hydrogel technologies and the hydrogels that you get from them, is they need to be in a saturated environment. Right, so that really is an ideal application for Marine it. Marine environments right. are ideal, and that's where we are, that's where a lot of companies are using them, but ships, sure. it, it's the same thing. Whether right. you're doing a marine, brackish, or lake environment, right. it's not a bad idea, and the greatest forum for that, the people who could experiment, sponsor a concrete canoe team. Oh, yeah. And see how they do with that. That, is, yeah. that being said, I, I don't see, besides the concrete canoe team, I don't see a lot of concrete shipbuilding companies out yeah, there. So true. it's not a big industry. So outside of the concrete canoe competition, I, I don't necessarily see who would use it. I know there are folks out there who'd still have these amazing concrete ships, but I just don't know if there's any. I just don't see it. Any manufacturers out there. Sure. Do you? I we'll None that I up. can think of. But. Totally look it up, though. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it, Johan. That was a great, mm -hmm. great question. Let us know if you have any other concrete questions, concrete concerns. Mm -hmm. For those of you out here who are first time seeing us, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding the bell. We actually gave out these things if you shared right. many, many moons ago. <laughs> comment and share. If you comment and share, we'll give you a piece of glow-in-the-dark concrete. You broke them all last week. You broke them all last week. That's right. You were That's just right. throwing them all around. Oh, that's you my know. fault. Yeah, you did. Yeah, sorry. 
There's some pieces around here. I'm so. sure. Yeah, we could tape them together. So like, comment, subscribe, give us your blood type, and then at that point, <laughs> you'll be entered in a competition to be part of a competition. It's not entered into a drawing. A drawing. To what win. kind of a drawing of what? Ships? A hammerhead shark. <laughs> it's a gray shark. A gray shark. It's a gray shark. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Go Congrate! Beat asphalt.